because of a recent change it now may be the best time to visit korea out there if you're ever interested in coming over to seoul busan jeju or any of the awesomeness in the land of the morning calm and i'm going to explain all about why it is so great to visit right now and why you should visit this year if possible as always i am andrew esquire american attorney living over here in asia right now i'm in seoul south korea but also spend a lot of time in all the countries that you guys are interested in and of course this is go east gentlemen helping gentlemen who are looking for good information on moving from west to east so let's get right into it with south korea now south korea it's a actually pretty good time to come over here to korea the weather is still very pleasant over here spring fall are wonderful seasons to come visit korea even if you miss the cherry blossoms it's still all right the country is quite beautiful and the weather is quite pleasant that being said there's a big thing that everybody who visits normally has to do but that has been waived here this year and before i get into that make sure you guys are also liked subscribed and you ding the notification bell on this channel so that being said the big thing that changed this year is korea is having a visit korea year now during this year they are temporarily exempting 22 countries from the keta that is an application electronic travel authorization or the KETA, Korean Electronic Travel Authorization, KETA. And these are countries that you probably are a member of. So Australia, Canada, Germany, Japan, and the good old United States, including Guam, you now are exempt. So if you're from a Western country, you are probably exempt from the KETA. You can check out the full list of 22 countries. And this is good because the KETA typically costs about 10 bucks, 10 10,000 won, which right now it's a little bit under 10. So right now it's probably like eight or seven US dollars. If you're in Canada or Australia, well, I'm not sure how much your kangaroo bucks are actually worth. But that being said, it makes it easier because your processing time is there. There's no approval time. Now look, it's typically not difficult to get this approval, but it takes time. You can't just go on the spur of the moment. If you're in Japan, well, you can't just always bounce over to Korea. You gotta go apply for this. You gotta wait for the approval. Before you get on the plane, you gotta show the people on the flight, your KETA. So this is all very, very important stuff if you're thinking of coming over and visiting Korea. Well, in this case, because they've lifted that, because they lifted that for this year, you now can just pop in and pop out of Korea quite easily. You're able to come in and just have a good time, visit Korea, visit Seoul, Busan, Jade, Jeju, Gwangju, wherever you want to visit in Korea, you can come and check that out. And also I would say right now with tourist numbers still not, I think, fully back up and recovered, it's probably a good time to stop by Korea. I know a lot of people might want to say, okay, well, Japan's first on their list or, you know, they've got to go to Southeast Asia. But I think putting Korea on your list is a very wise choice. You'll often find that in Korea, the convenience, the safety, the cleanliness, the amazing food is just something that's going to draw you in. If you're a guy out there who's thinking about moving here and you want to do a scouting mission, you're trying to come out here for a week or two weeks, check out Korea now. This is one of the easiest and best times to do it. And you're going to be able to do it relatively with no hassle. The only hassle is going to be where you're going to stay and how much fun you're going to have. So that being said, guys, please consider Korea as something on your travel list. And as always, I will be back for more on the easiest ways to get into Asia. As always, take care. Peace.